think we should just strike a pose. <laughs> And this is the song of the week. All right. Hello, everybody. Hi, how are you? This is song of the week. And we are really lucky today because we have in the studio, not just Kwame Ofori, who is always fun to have, but we also have the artist of the song of the week, Dogo. Say hi, Dogo. From Togo. <laughs> hi, I'm doing great. How are you? There? I'm good. How are you? Yeah. Good, it is good. great to have you on set. Thanks. Now, Dogo lives uh, in the Washington, D.C. area, and he's from Togo, but he lives here, and he just won an award right here in Washington, D.C., called the WAMA, or they call it the Whammies. Whammies. Yes. Whammies. Whoa. It's Washington area um, music awards, kind of like the Grammys, but they call them the Whammies. Whammies. Yes. And he won... Best World Music Artist and Group of the Year. Yeah! <laughs> With his song, and the song is called so Sokewu. Sokewu. What does Sokewu mean? Forgive them. And what are you talking about? It's, um, I believe that forgiveness is a great sign of um, greatness. I think it is. And I think it's a sign of victory, too. Mm -hmm. And I really believe that people should forgive and not keep bad things inside. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, so, what inspired you to do that, though? Was there something that you had to, some bad thing that happened to you? Not just me, but um, everybody, I think. So, just you know, an observation. I'm talking to people also. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's listen to the song, and then we'll come back to Dogo from Togo with Kwame from Ghana to talk about the song. Et voilà, gafan konike, et voilà, pour si j'envide, si j'envide ma pora, nous si a nous si j'envaila, mega so wadanke. Well, this is just a gorgeous song. This is um, Dogo. And um, I wanted to ask you, first of all, how you feel about winning the award. Let's just come back to the award real quick. How do you feel? Were you surprised? Yes, yeah, surprised. I mean, I didn't go to the ceremony because I thought I would not win. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're being real here. <laughs> no, I'm being real. The point is, I look, I'm kind of new. This is like a single. It's not even on an album. And oh, wow. It's, it's new. That's the first year I really mm -hmm. started the project. Mm -hmm. And I look at the, my category. I saw the guys in there. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I better stay home and practice. But it's a good song. Uh, so you were, you were in your boxers uh, at home, right? With your feet yes, up. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Relaxing. <laughs> oh, oh, that's great. Well, so tell us about this. I know you have a band here mm -hmm. in Washington, but you said that you were in Togo, and that's where you recorded this mm -hmm. song with a Togolese group mm -hmm. and the women there. Tell us how that happened, how that came about. Did you go to Togo specifically to record music? Yes, I go to Togo to record my songs because I believe that what I'm looking into, these songs, I will find them better there with the musicians there than here. So I go there to record the songs, actually. We went to the studio. I didn't plan to have the women in the song, but then when we, you know, I was in my area and then I saw them singing and I'm like whoa we should sing together and they're like okay what do you have and I went to them later on with my guitar and I play and they're like yeah we like that so we went to the studio oh, all they did is they just put one mic in front of them oh, and they sang feel that authentic vibe yeah. in there like it, it's it's very earthy it's very raw and for them to agree just on the spot yeah, the thing <laughs> yeah, is, yeah but, but the point also is that when we went to the studio they wanted to make them sing one by one i'm like mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. because one that's more. not how they're good it, not, yeah exactly yeah. yeah yes it worked it really worked it's very beautiful very and beautiful. so it's in a mix of ewe and mina and mina yeah it's a kind of career like i say um uh 
my parents are not from the south, so I was now like born in a village in the south and something. But I was born in Lumi, and that's mm-hmm. the language I, you know, I speak and understand. You know, it's kind of Creole. It's a mix of Mina. Mm-hmm. Sometimes people add some French to it, some even some English to it. Mm-hmm. That's what I use basically. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't, I don't think about specific language when I write my songs. I just write them. That. So, soke wo, is that what you would say, like, if someone's mad, like somebody did something to you, mm-hmm. and you're, oh, you're just so mad, yeah. do people just, is that an expression that they say, you know, just, hey, soke wo. Exactly, that's what I, I love it. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Heather is right on the money. Yeah, right on the money. <laughs> I'm going to remember that mm-hmm, one. Mm-hmm. All right, well, it's been wonderful having you here. Do you have um, any anything you'd like to say to the listeners out there or the viewers? On YouTube? Uh, check Dogo from Togo on YouTube. And go on Facebook, check out Dogo from Togo. And, you know, listen to Togo's music. Try to push that out a little bit more. And we're going to do better than that, than what we're doing now. But what I can tell you, Heather, is that next year, mm-hmm. you're going to hear some Togo's sound, some Togo's harmonies. As soon as you hear the, ter- the first 10 seconds, you know it's Togo music. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Togo. This is Heather Maxwell. And this is Kwame Asante here for you now and always. On Song Song of the Week. Week.